The Center for Urban Teaching in Milwaukee, Wisconsin works initially with undergraduates who want to apply their teacher education to urban classrooms. Building on a no excuses, do whatever it takes model, the students examine high performance in some of the best schools in America. After graduation, these first and second year teachers continue their partnership with the center. Listen as one of these teachers shares his experience. Expanding the circle has really helped me in three main ways with improving my teaching, um, encouraging me in what I'm doing, and also holding me accountable. Um, every week, well, once a month we go through and we talk about teaching strategies that will help immediately in the classroom and that has really been beneficial for me um, knowing that people are coming through and teaching me things that I can use right away and I go and turn around and use them in my classroom the next week and for the next month and keep building on those things. It's also helped me with uh, encouragement because I see all these teachers around the city that are coming together to spend time to get better for their kids and it also keeps me accountable because when I come I know that there are certain things that I want to be doing in my classroom that I can turn around and on a Saturday talk to other teachers that have been doing the same things and just knowing that they're out there working to improve um, motivates me to improve uh, what I'm doing in my classroom as well. Beginning teachers do benefit from the specific techniques and tools that we explore, but they also benefit from the connections they make with one another. We are all in this together, and we do it for the children we are privileged to teach. I think expanding the circle has helped me the most in having others who are teaching the same things that I am, having the same experiences that I am, but also preparing me for experiences that I haven't been able to go through yet and the ideas that we're able to share with colleagues who are all working towards the same goal and have the same passion for education has been the thing that has helped me the most to prepare me for what I'm going to um, what I'm going to go through every day in the classroom. So sharing the ideas and having people there who are a co constant support to me, not just on the Saturdays that we meet, but I'm able to email them or call them whenever I need that assistance. And I think that's been the greatest thing. Also, just the different techniques and tools that we talk about throughout our Saturday mornings and seeing those tools and techniques being put into action through the videos and discussions that we have um, have helped me tremendously inside of the classroom. I want to take a look at one chapter which for me summarizes the life of an urban educator. And from that, two specific things that I think frame what it means to go above and beyond if we are going to be an exceptional urban teacher. It's my number one main idea uh, today, which is that if you want to be above and beyond urban educator, you have got to take time to bow down. You have got to take time to pray. If you don't, get chewed up and spat out eventually. For me it's extremely beneficial just because I get the chance to talk with other teachers about experiences they're going through. I get to learn from mentors who have been doing this for however many years. Um, just the fact that we're able to share ideas with other teachers, we get that time to share what they've been doing. I've been able to take some great strategies back from other teachers who are at Expanding the Circle and I'm also able to take some great strategies back from the videos that we get to watch with the Uncommon Schools. So the fact that these strategies are all applicable right away, things that I can change right away in the classroom is really helpful. What is the number one rule for our urban educators today? I believe it is respect. Respect from everyone, for everyone, every time. For without respect there is no trust. Without trust then our communication with one another will never be open and productive. What teachers believe does make a difference. Well, it just amazes me when you read, like I think if you are a, a non-Christian and you are completely detached from who Jesus was and then you read the story of this man, one of the first and foremost things that you would conclude is that this dude was a radical. He was, he was a nut job. I mean, some of the things that he said are completely insane, right? And then, how many of us would describe ourselves as radicals? Or extremists? Like we live in a culture 
that tries to cram everybody into the center. Was not Jesus an extremist for love? Love your enemies, bless them who curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and, pers and persecute you. Was not Amos an extremist for justice? Let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Was not Paul an extremist for the Christian gospel? I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Was not Martin Luther an extremist? Here I stand, I cannot do otherwise. So help me God. And John Bunyan? I will stay in jail to the end of my days before I make a butchery of my conscience. And Abraham Lincoln, this nation cannot survive half slave and half free. And Thomas Jefferson, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. So the question is not whether we will be extremists, but what kind of extremists we will be. Will we be extremists for hate or for love? Will we be extremists for the preservation of injustice or for the extension of justice? Expanding the Circle seeks to explore the question, why settle for being a good teacher when you are gifted to be a great teacher? The group sessions are enhanced by the feedback that mentors provide when they visit the classrooms. You see, success in our urban classrooms today is challenging but it is also rewarding. Mentoring provides the support that first year teachers need to bring consistency to their practice. Together we seek outrageous growth within this culture of respect and compassion. The reward will be found as those who are being mentored today become the mentors of tomorrow.